boy Chell coming at you with a fresh new video. So, what we got going on here today is another unboxing from again, Live Aquaria and Dr. Fosters and Smith. So, I'm gonna be unboxing this stuff and you're gonna be seeing what I got. Got some surprises, I don't know, let's see. We got three boxes here. One is of Diver's Den. I believe this is Diver's Den and this one is the actual Live Aquaria and then this is something cool. So, let me set up my camera. And we're gonna go ahead and dig into these packages. So, here it is. Got my trusty gold knife. Prestige, baby. Call of Duty Insider. So if you know Call of Duty, you know, got a lot of people just to get this gold prestige knife. So, cut this open. Let's see what I got. As always, drip acclimation guide, which is pointless to me, but cool thing that they brought it. So, it's been pretty cold, so I'm really worried about this coral. This is one of my uh, heat pack, still warm. Good, it's a good sign. So, what the hell? Wow, okay, so this is pretty interesting. It's the, I ordered a bumblebee shrimp and this guy is like tiny, like extremely tiny. I don't know if you could even really see him much. He's in there, but that's a tiny bumblebee shrimp. And here is, I mean, I couldn't even see him at first. Here is a an enemy shrimp. You're probably not gonna see that guy. Jeez, I didn't know tiny meant like, invisible um they're in there let me see if i lay them down maybe you can get a better view of them oh yeah there we go That's a lot better. um so th there is the anemone shrimp he appears to be alive so that's a good sign and here's the bumblebee shrimp now these guys are extremely small but they're alive so that's a good sign um really excited about this order thought they would be a little bit bigger but hey at least they're alive and i got a chance to watch them grow so this is a sexy dancer shrimp from east eastern asia and this is a bumblebee shrimp so i'm gonna go ahead and get these guys acclimated and um open up the next box so got even more for y'all so this is box number two um this one i'm really worried about it's an expensive piece very beautiful piece um, this is Diver's Den, so this is what you see, what you get. So it should be what I seen and what I got. So, or what I get. So let's go ahead and just open this bad boy up. Um, I'm really nervous about this one, I'm not gonna lie. It's a very big piece. At least that picture appeared to be big. So, um, let's hope for the best. Acclimation guide, I mean, they put it in a big box and it's only one item, so it's a little bit weird, but. Hey, whatever works. So, oh, they even taped the sides of it too. Alright, let me just go ahead. Sorry, I should have had this done for y'all. Upon request, but I know some people love to see the videos, others don't. So, whatever. If you do or you don't, let me know. Um, the heat pack is warm still, so, we're going to get back farther. Put my trusty prestige knife down. And dig in and see how it's doing. It's in a big bag. So, there goes um, at least the beginning parts of it. Um, now, what we have here is a torch coral. It's from Indonesia and um, it appears to be okay. So, let me just go ahead and inspect it and see. It has quite a bit of heads, um, but it's got like a lot of floating particles in there. So I don't know, that might be a little bit weird for me, but um, appears to be okay. Obviously the heads are not gonna be extended in the bag or anything. Um, definitely gonna go ahead and drip acclimate this guy, but uh, I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried about him, so. Go ahead and get him acclimated, get everybody nice and acclimated and uh, show you guys what they look like. So, as, and uh, before I come back, please, if you guys are watching this, make sure you hit that like button and that sub button. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys in the tank. I'm gonna get him mounted up. 
Um, as you can see over here, we got him in the um, got with the bumblebee shrimp and the sexy shrimp are all in the same tank. So he's gonna be going. The torch coral is gonna be going right next to this torch coral right here. That's where I'm gonna have him. I got a spot back there. I gotta weld him down to the rock surface, and he's gonna be right there. Um, I have a lot of euphelia in my tank, as you can see. So just to give you guys something to look at, a little shot of the tank. So let me go ahead and get this guy in the bag, and um, come at you when he's ready. I'm gonna unbox. I still got one more box on unbox, and I'm gonna show you guys what that is. So this is how I acclimate him. Just put him right in there. Let him get used to the water temperature for a bit, and. Uh, Come back with the rest. So let me get into this box right here. The um, torch coral that I received opened up pretty good, looking really nice. Um, I have them here in this nano tank. Um, got another torch here. I don't know, this torch might be struggling, but it wasn't from Live Aquaria. Um, but this torch is doing amazing. As you can see, it's about three and a half inches wide and has about four or five heads. And this thing is just going crazy. So yeah. That's the torch, looking banging in the five gallon nano tank. So put some zoanthids over there and stuff. So that's gonna be nice. But yeah, that's a close up of the torch coral that I got from Live Aquaria, Diver's Den. Looking real nice. It's a, this is an Indonesian, Indonesian, Indonesia, excuse me. Torch coral. Um, I believe this is a wild caught. I've heard that when they're on the rocks like that, that they actually came straight from the ocean. I guess most of the corals come from the ocean, so with the exception of like most oanthids and stuff like that. So, but this guy, I'm pretty happy with. It cost me about eighty nine dollars, so well worth it. So, yeah, there it is big boy ready now this is completely different this is not live so I know this is alive this is absolutely nothing to do with fish oh excuse me obviously it has something to do with fish but um as you can tell in the video I, I posted the other day is that I'm getting into a little frenzy with something that has to do with this and this was the second item I purchased okay so it has a lot of bubble wrap let me go ahead and dump this bubble wrap and I'll be right back. so this is what we got. The JBJ Picco Tope Aquarium Kit, three gallons. So it comes with everything you need. As you see here, they have a freshwater setup with some rocks and some dantle. It has some T5 lighting. So this is a JBJ Aquarium. Um, I'm interested in this, you know. It's a three gallon tank. I'm definitely not gonna do fresh water. I'm gonna hook it up with salt water. Um, this is gonna be another um, video. I'm gonna have this opened up and I'm ready to set this up. That's gonna be a whole complete different video. I just wanted to unbox what I got today. And there you go, there you have it. It's gonna be very interesting. It comes with the T5 light, a little filter. And I've seen many videos of people with just this setup having some amazing looking nano tanks. I mean, three gallons is not a lot of water, but man, you can make it fill up by with, by just adding the right stuff. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna put a clown tang in here, you know, or a, a tang or anything like that. Probably just honestly some inverts and some little corals. So this would be an interesting video for you guys. And I'm gonna make another series on these. So if you can, that is my unboxing from Live Aquaria and Dr. Fosters and Smith. So please give me a big thumbs up and please sub to the channel for weekly videos. You know, I might post two or three videos. This is gonna be a weekly video of how I set it up from beginning to finish. So as always, please sub to the channel and like the video. It's your boy Chell and he's out here. Peace.